Hello from Wayne's Golf Carts out here in Indio, California. Today I'm going to do a little test on a new uh, brand of a charger for golf carts, electric golf carts. This brand is Craftsman, just like the old Sears name, Craftsman Golf Cart Chargers. And what I'm going to do is try this new one that they just sent me for a review. And I'm going to try it on this club car precedent I have here. So, this is the club car precedent. Right now, I have the seat off and I have my meter wired in. You can see right now, as this cart sits, it's 49.67 volts. Okay? And this, by the way, is a 2007 precedent. Now, this I just uncreated. That's the box for this new Craftsman uh, charger. It comes in a really nice case. What it comes with is a troubleshooting guide, little owner's manual. That's the actual charger, 15 amps, which is very surprising for this little tiny smart charger. Let's get it out of here. 48 volt, 15 amps. Boy, it's pretty heavy. Comes with a new AC cord that plugs in, which is nice. You can remove it. And this one's for the club car. So what they've done, they've got interchangeable leads. See, this one's the three-prong club car. They also have these for Easy Goes, the RXVs, TXTs, the Yamahas. And it's just a different end that you just connect on here. So if you're in the golf cart business, you could actually get one of these and three different model adapters and you can have one charger fits all so now let me tell you i'm getting ready to hook this into this golf cart but on a club car this charger only works on precedents or ds's that do not have the obc or else the obc has been bypassed okay so what i'm saying is if your club car still has the OBC that's functioning on the golf cart, this charger won't work for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to confuse some people, but right now I'm going to hook up this new Craftsman charger. This is it. I'm going to hook it up to this 07 precedent that has an OBC. So this should not work on this cart. Okay, this is just a video to review it, to check it out. You only want, on a club car, you only want to use the Craftsman charger if it's newer than a 2015 or newer, where it does not have the OBC, or it could be an older club car if the OBC has been bypassed. So right now, I have plugged this into the 110 power right there. Another nice thing is this 110 cord that is removable to this charger is 10 feet it's either 10 or 12 feet long so it's nice it's very long so when I plugged it in two lights lit up you can see a green one and a red one so I turn around LED 1 LED 2 it has a little fan on the end so I'm getting ready to plug this three prong adapter into this club car and see what happens okay I've plugged it in there's our meter it's still 49.6 which is telling me it's not charging and this thing here two lights are still lit up but that's it it's not doing anything the fans not coming on it's not doing anything so, the first part of this video is, this charger definitely does not work on your club car if you have a working onboard computer or OBC. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this charger, I'm going to find one of my, find a, I got a lot of carts in here, I'm going to find a club car that is newer or doesn't have the OBC and we will, uh, 
hook it up. So I'll be right back. Okay, um, we're getting ready to check this new Craftsman charger out now on a 2016 precedent that does not have an OBC. That's what this charger is designed for, at least the club car model, is to work with club cars, whether it's, well, it would have to be a precedent, 2015 newer that does not have an OBC, or again, the old ones that one has been bypassed. So, let me show you what's going on. Okay, 2016 cart with eight volt batteries. The batteries are filled perfectly. Matter of fact, you can't see. Let me shake with my knees and maybe you can see the water. There, you can see it moving, okay? And right now, my meter is hooked up and it's 47.45 volts before hooking the charger up. 47.45. No lights are lit on the charger, as you can see. So, I'm gonna plug in the 110 outlet first. When I did, the two lights came on, the red one and the green one. Nothing else. Now I'm going to plug into the cart itself. Oh, you can hear that right away. The fan started coming on. There you go. And the two lights are both red. LED 1 is red. And LED 2 is now red, which it was originally green. And I believe, yeah, it tells you right here, LED 1, red, means the power on. So when you plug it into 110, LED 1 should light up red. The LED 2 is red when it's charging, which it is right now. You can see two reds. Or when it's disconnected or fully charged, the LA2 should be green. So you got the fan going. Now let's check our meter. Oh yeah, see, now 50.62 and climbing. So I gotta tell you, this uh, charger is pretty impressive. It's 48 volts, 15 amps. And what's impressive about it is the original power drive chargers from Club Car. Their amperage, some of them put out 12 volts. I mean, I'm sorry. Some of them put out 12 amps, 13 amps, all the way up to 18 amps. But the majority of these small new chargers, smart chargers that are hitting the market, are little tiny uh, chintzy ones, actually. Uh, chicken shit <laughs> there uh, they may only put out five amps or seven amps or something which means it's going to take longer to charge but this one by craftsman which is a smart charger a lightweight one actually is putting out 15 amps which is awesome so it's going to uh, charge the cart faster it's lighter it's lightweight the AC cord is removable you can unplug the adapter and plug in a different adapter you can use the same charger for uh if i wanted to use this rxv over here and put that little uh, adapter on there or a yamaha i could so i'm going to give this charger a thumbs up let me see if getting back to yeah see it's 50.99 already let me see what happens if i change this meter to amps okay that does nothing for me so, anyway, just playing around with this, sorry. <laughs> it's up to 51 volts. So, this charger is it's quiet, it's small, it's very sleek, and they have different models for different chargers if you want to get them. But this one, I believe, is their... Uh, I'm not sure what they call it as far as... Uh, which one it is a club car charger but this one comes with a carrying case a real nice carrying case that i showed you earlier that if you're going to not leave it out all the time see this is a nice real nice padded carrying case that i wanted this particular 
because I'm going to be hauling this one around with me in my truck to different uh, places. If you're just going to, you're one car, uh, homeowner and just going to use it in the same place all the time, you don't need this one. The other charger is exactly the same size and everything. It just doesn't come with a carrying case. As a matter of fact, I have one over here, so, around here somewhere. So I will, uh, let me see if I can find it for you. Hold on. Yeah, here's the other one. Tell I need a camera, man. This is the other one that doesn't uh, have the uh, carrying case. Exact same size, 15 amp. It's the same charger, I believe. It's just got a carrying case. But uh, let's see if I got there. There they go. There you are, Craftsman Golf Cart Smart Charger. That's the model number. SKU 5900927. And uh, go to their website. See what's on there. It's craftsmangolf.com. But anyway, um, I do like this charger. I'm impressed with it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And uh, all right, I'm still recording. So, see, we're up to 51.2, and I can leave this thing charging. I'm gonna walk away from it and leave it charging. Come back, uh, check on it in a couple hours, and it will be turned off. So, anyway, that's a review I'm giving I'm giving this a thumbs up <laughs> versus uh, these older chargers and the power drive chargers the whole series PD PD2 PD3 they all have replaceable parts and uh, they've been great for you know all these years but now that these smart chargers coming out they do different things they do uh, maintenance cycles and some of them do trickle charging and all kinds of different things but when you're looking for one of these new chargers, or if you have a club car and you're gonna, uh, your OBC goes bad and you're gonna replace it or bypass it and get a new charger, um, I recommend checking out this Craftsman chargers because they're, they just happen to be, they get my approval. They just happen to be everything that I think I'd be looking for, especially the output of 15 amps versus all those other ones. Um, I have, here it is, here's one that, this is a cart that I put those Allied batteries in, which I'm not a fan of. And this is the charger that Allied gives you. It kind of looks the same, but if you look at, see the outputs, you can get 5 amps all the way up to actually 40 amps. This one is a 15 amp. Where is it? I just saw it. This one happens to be a 15 amp. So we've had a, a lot of problems with the Allied products. So I'm kind of hesitant to show you <laughs> or even mention her name. But go back uh, again, craftsmangolf.com. Check out their chargers if you're in the market for one. Again, this is Wayne from Wayne's Golf Carts in Indio. I have a website, waynesgolfcarts.com. And I have parts for mostly club cars on there that you can buy. Um, if you're looking for specialty parts or just one of something, hit me up, text me at 760-393-1314, and I'll be glad to answer you. Um, I'll get back to you. I can tell you now, if you call me, you're going to get my machine, my voicemail. I very rarely have my phone with me. It's in the truck, and I usually don't call back too often. I text back or email, so... Email me at L-E-M-W-E-R-T at SBCGlobal.net. It spells Lem Wert at SBCGlobal.net. Wayne'sGolfCarts.com. And also um, my phone number is 760-393-1314. And I, text me and send me pictures, whatever you want, and I will help you. I'll help you for free. I have a link on my website. Some people want to talk to me and want me to troubleshoot over the phone i'll do that but i charge for my time and that's on the website too so thank you from wayne's golf carts in indio and check out the craftsman 
charger if you're in the market. Thank you.